All right, everyone, so let's take a look at the elbow osteology. So big things to note here, number one is, as we mentioned in lecture, elbow joint really made up of three joints. This is my distal humerus. Remember that over here is my capitulum. Here's my trochlea. This is going to be my medial epicondyle. This is going to be my lateral epicondyle. Three different joints. Humeral ulnar, humeral radial, and radial ulnar. Every joint, like everything else we've talked about, says what it is, is what it says. Okay? My humeral ulnar joint is the articulation between my humerus and my ulna. My humeral radial joint is the articulation between my humerus and my radius. My radial ulnar joint is the articulation between my radius and my ulna. Now, other thing to note here is which ends are convex and which ends are concave. And I think you can get a really good appreciation for this. This is a convex surface. This is a concave surface. Convex surface, concave surface. So when my humeral ulnar joint is moving and my humeral radial joint is moving, I have a concave surface moving on a convex surface. In open chain motion, that's what we're gonna see. Okay, and I want you really to practice that. Do a couple elbow flexions in the open chain. You're gonna see that ulna and that radius moving around the convex surfaces of the humerus. I'll move it over here on the lateral view, and we're gonna see the very same thing. We're gonna see concave moving on convex. Okay, so I want you to get a really good appreciation of that. In the closed chain, what will happen is my radius and ulna will be fixed, my humerus will be moving. So if my humerus is moving on my ulna, on my radius, now I have a convex surface moving on a concave surface. Okay? So make sure you understand all the arthrokinematics associated with the humeral ulnar joint and the humeral radial joint. And the other thing we are going to look at is this concept of pronation and supination. Remember, pronation and supination is going to happen here at the radial ulnar joint. When I pronate, my ulna is going to stay relatively fixed. My radius will pronate around my ulna. When that happens, at my proximal radial ulnar joint, my convex radial head will be spinning in that radial notch. My convex radial head will be articulating and moving on a concave surface. So make sure you understand all of the arthrokinematics that are happening at the humeral ulnar joint, the humeral radial joint, and the radial ulnar joint.